hello everyone uh, dear student uh, today we are going to see the most probable question that may ask or that are asked for the Savitri Pai Phule Pune University semester 2 examination on the subject of pharmaceutical organic chemistry 1 and also we will see the question paper pattern and uh, how to download previous year question paper in that so uh, if you put uh, SPP on the Google then uh, this uh, uh, search you will find Savitri by Fulipun University then uh, click on it then in a student corner you will see this is a previous question paper so you have to click on that and you will see that uh, right from 2016 to 2022 so this uh, December and uh, May June semester that is a uh, odd and even semester both it is uh, included in this uh, page so you have to go on April 2022 so in that you have to see on uh, pharmaceutical sciences faculty of pharmaceutical sciences then you have to go on mainly 2019 pattern because uh, right now 2019 pattern is ongoing for first year B farm student so this is uh, now uh, look at this this window indicating the farm uh, human anatomy physiology so this is a uh, semester one uh, likewise uh, pharmaceutics one then inorganic chemistry then uh, HAP2 right now this is a uh, semester two and uh, this is what we are going to discuss today pharmaceutical organic chemistry one semester two and this is the subject code so if you see the total questions uh, maximum marks so it is a 25 uh, uh, sorry uh, it is a 75 marks and uh, time is uh, 3 hours so there are mainly 3 major questions question number 1 question number 2 and question number 3 so in question number 1 you have to solve any five and each carries three marks and total weightage for question number one is 15 marks and likewise question number two you have to solve any two which carries 10 marks each and total is 20 marks for question number two and for question number three so it is a very long question that is uh, 8 questions you have to solve each carries 5 marks and total 40 marks for question number 3 so you have to take care while uh, uh, solving the question and uh, every uh, and uh, every question having options and uh, select or mark the question that you can solve very easily so here we are going to see the question number one that carries a 15 marks so define covalent bond and differentiate between sigma and pi bond so here it is this question is asked on unit number one so again draw the structure from the compound then write the IUPAC name then explain the inductive effect and then explain the concept then write down the uses and compare or explain the basicity order so dear student this question number one here it is asked or mainly focus on unit number one so from that you may aware about the concept clarity and a small type of questions that are mainly based on unit number one so in a differentiate 
between sigma and pi bond so there may be the question that is a compare uh, atomic orbital and uh, molecular orbital so likewise so explain inductive effect instead of that there may be the question of explain a resonance effect with example and the concept of uh, <coughs> hybridization with example you have to write or you have to solve it so you must be prepared for uh, this kind of question uh, I'll again remember from unit number one there is always small type of question for uh, three marks that is uh, compare between the sigma and pi bond atomic orbital and molecular orbital then write a note on or explain with example hybridization likewise then uh, concept of covalent bond so likewise it is asked then question number two this question number two carries each question carries 10 marks so you have to solve two questions so there are four questions so there are options so while uh, writing the answer for uh, question number two that is for 10 marks so this 10 mark question consists of small questions okay small sub question you can say that so here explain even elimination reaction with mechanism then kinetics and factor affecting on it and explain set z orientation so uh, see there are the sub question that is a set z uh, orientation is the question then a mechanism kinetics factors okay and uh, while attempting this kind of question so you have to always put a heading for each sub question that is while explain the even elimination so you have to write down the general statement general reaction then you have to mention the mechanism so while writing the mechanism you ha can use a black ball pen underline it or you can use a bullet make a star okay so this can improve the representation of the answer as it carries a 10 marks so you should take a more uh, care about that kinetics factors so you have to enlist the factors as well as you have to discuss the factor affecting on even elimination so here this even question even elimination question can be asked like for e2 elimination so the question will, will be explain e2 elimination and again the rest of the question will be the same and also the E1CB reaction along with that there may be the question for compare between E1 and E2 elimination or compare E1 and E1CB elimination reaction so then uh, this elimination is from unit number 2 uh, sorry unit number 3 then uh, what are carbonyl compounds then write any three methods of preparation and any three nucleophilic addition reaction of aldehyde so aldehydes and ketone or carbonyl compounds um, that uh, unit is very important so in that any preparation reaction and uh, reactions of aldehydes and ketone and along with that uh, the reaction involved in it that is Canizaro uh, reaction and aldol condensation or whatever the name reaction mentioned in that that are important in this unit while considering the question number 2 then explain E1 and sorry explain SN1 and SN2 reaction so this kind of question is also asked for compare SN1 and SN2 reaction so again it is uh, continued with the factor affecting that is one sub question and also that is SN1 and SN2 is also one sub question so uh, likewise you have to uh, write down the answer with a very specific manner so uh, while writing or explaining the uh, factors and mechanism you have to give the examples 
very simple simple example can be given no need to give a very complex uh, uh, structures S give the simplest or whatever the sufficient structure is needed you can uh, put in your answer then very important question this uh, kind of question is always asked in uh, uh, many um, uh, examination of a POC one in a SPPU uh, university so classify organic compound on the basis of elemental composition so this covers the major unit number two okay and uh, you and uh, dear student you must prepare for this question because this question is a uh, more commonly asked for 10 marks okay so here elimination reaction that is e1 e2 then sn1 sn2 and this uh, elemental composition and their classification this is very very important questions that are always asked in every examination of POC 1 okay so uh, while uh, uh, preparing for POC 1 you should uh, remember these uh, points or questions so question number 3 is uh, uh, consist of uh, or you have to solve any 8 question we each carries a 5 marks and total is a 40 marks explain any three types of structural isomerism in organic compound with one example so dear student you have to attempt a such a kind of question that consists or that you, you can write in more examples okay so here here it is mentioned that explain with one example of each so each structural isomer you have to write down and explain with each example or one example okay so while attempting this question in unit number three so you have to consider that question after question number a you should solve question number b c or d or you have to avoid that you that one student can attempt question number d and after that question number a you should avoid this sequence so always go sequentially always marks which question you can attempt very easily so if you see then uh, uh, question number question number three in that b is uh, what is what are conjugated time so here it is a given from the alkene chapter so this kind of question is very important on a conjugated time always ask either for the note on or on writing the addition that is uh, 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 writing the addition that is a one two or one four addition then uh, draw the structure and uses of the carboxylic acid acetic acid tartaric acid and acetyl salicylic acid then dear student you must be prepared for the name reaction mentioned in the syllabus and uh, rest of the pa uh, paper is uh, uh, very easy that is uh, draw the structure and write the uses once you read the uh, structure and uses you can easily attempt this okay then here define the term uh, see resonance steric effect electromeric effect mesomeric this is all from the unit number one so there may be the question that is uh, explain with example uh, resonance effect or draw the resonance of uh, following and in that aniline or phenol benzaldehyde the structure may be given so dear student i hope you understand the question paper pattern how the questions are asked and uh, most probable question that are asked in ongoing examination on of a POC one so I wish you best luck for your exam so write question uh, uh, so read question clearly write answer specific and always involve more and more examples so explanation with the examples is a very important for POC 1 examination so thank you